Welcome to the story of the Chinese animal zodiac. My name is James O'Sullivan and I hope you find this entertaining. For those of you who do not know what the Chinese zodiac is or how it came to be, I have put together the following to give you all a history lesson. One of the many legends say that a race was organized to decide the animals that would report to the Jade Emperor who would then honor each by using them to represent the 12 phases of the Chinese zodiac. The route taken by the animals went through a forest over ranges of plains and grasslands and along a stream before finally crossing a lake to the destination town where they would find the Jade Emperor. So although the cat and the rat being the worst swimmers in the animal kingdom they were both intelligent. They decided that the best and fastest way to cross the river was to hop on the back of the ox. The ox, being a naive and good-natured animal, agreed to carry them across. However, overcome with a fierce competitiveness, the rat decided that in order to win, it must do something and promptly pushed the cat into the river. Because of this, the cat has never forgiven the rat and hates the water as well. After the ox had crossed the river, the rat jumped ahead and reached the shore first and it claimed first place in the competition. Following close behind came the strong ox and it was named the second animal in the zodiac. After the ox came the tiger panting while explaining to the emperor just how difficult it was to cross the river with the heavy currents pushing it downstream all the time. But with powerful strength it made it to the shore and was named the third animal in the zodiac. Suddenly from a distance came a thumping sound and the rabbit arrived. It explained how it crossed the river by jumping from one stone to another in a nimble fashion. Halfway through it almost lost the race but the rabbit was lucky enough to grab hold of a floating log that later washed him to the shore and for that it became the fourth animal in the zodiac cycle. Coming in fifth place was the dragon, flying and belching fire into the air. Of course the emperor was deeply curious as to why a strong and flying creature such as the dragon should fail to reach first. The mighty dragon explained that he had to stop and make rain to help all the people and creatures of the earth and therefore he was held back a little. Then on his way to the finish line he saw a little helpless rabbit clinging to a log so he did a good deed and gave a puff of breath to the poor creature so that it could land on the shore. The emperor was very pleased with the actions of the dragon and he was added to the zodiac cycle. As soon as he had done so a galloping sound was heard and the horse appeared. Hidden on the horse's hoof is the snake whose sudden appearance gave the horse a fright, thus making it fall back, and gave the snake sixth spot, while the horse took the seventh spot in the zodiac cycle. The rooster spotted a raft and took the other two animals with it. Together the sheep and the monkey cleared the weeds, tugged and pulled, and finally got the raft to the shore. Because of their combined efforts, the emperor was very pleased, and promptly named the sheep as the eighth creature the monkey is the ninth and the rooster as the tenth. The eleventh animal is the dog. His explanation for being late, although he was supposed to be the best swimmer amongst the rest, was that he needed a good bath after a long spell and the fresh water from the river was too big a temptation. And for that he almost didn't make it to the finish line. Just as the emperor was about to call it a day, an oink and a squeal was heard from the little pig. The pig got hungry during the race, promptly stopped for a feast and then fell asleep. After the nap, the pig continued the race and was named the twelfth and last animal of the zodiac cycle. The cat finished too late to win any place in the calendar and vowed to be the enemy of the rat forevermore. This is one of the most popular legends but there are many others. The ox as a creature has always been considered a, depend a dependable animal in Chinese culture and is by no means a creature you should get on the wrong side of. And here are the 
years. The tiger, another highly respected animal in Chinese culture. Of course, like the animal itself, tigers can be extremely dangerous when they are crossed, but their emotions can be very strong and erratic. These are the years for those born in the year of the tiger. The rabbit. A person born under this sign is thought to be overly emotional and highly sensitive. Rabbits are said to also be very affectionate and be a highly popular person with many friends and possess creativity beyond all of the other animals. 2011 is the year of the rabbit. And some of the other years, the dragon, the ancient mythical creature, is a highly celebrated animal in Chinese culture, as many people are probably aware. Dragons are said to be very helpful, energetic, and full of fun. These are the years. Snakes are said to be blessed with the ability to seduce. They are highly sociable and well-liked by people around them. Deep down, though, snakes can be very insecure in themselves, which can lead to jealousy. The years of the snake. Horses are well known as the wanderer. They can, by nature, be very independent and thrive on constantly staying active. Horses can also be a bit of a show-off, with an underlying desire to show it off to the crowd. These are the years of the horse. Sheep, or the ram, are thought to be highly artistic and creative, which matches well with their skill as a dreamer. They are kind beings, who are often generous to those closest to them. And these are the years of the sheep. The monkey is known for their energetic nature. People born in the year of the monkey are considered the party animal of the Chinese zodiac. This sign enjoys being the center of attention and can have a lot of curiosity. The year of the monkey. Roosters are said to be quick thinking and ingenious. They are believed to be very aware of things that are going on around them. It is also believed their appearance is of great importance to them. The years of the rooster Dogs are said to be very trustworthy, but can find it difficult to trust others in return, but can suffer from being rather moody and then need some time alone to revitalize themselves. Some of the years of the dog, the boar, they are known to be very pleasant and are flawless in manners and taste. Pigs can be seen as feeling superior to those around them due to their perfectionism and love for the finer things in life. Some of the years of the pig. The rat is a creature looked down upon in the vast majority of the world, but in Chinese culture the rat is looked upon as a great and cunning animal. It is said to be also creative and very generous to their family and friends. I hope you enjoyed this story of the Chinese Zodiac and until next time, Slancha, Zai Jian.